Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn? In this session we are going to recognize the gender with the help of TensorFlow and CVLeap on Raspberry OS Bullseye 64 bit version. We are going to install the TensorFlow main version and we are going to install the CVLeap on Raspberry OS Bullseye 64 bit version. Okay. But before we move to our practical friends, if you learn something from our videos, please consider to subscribe our channel. Okay, friends, thank you so much and let's get started. So friends, as I told you, we are going to detect uh, with the help of face recognition, we are going to recognize the gender. Okay, for that, the basic setup is what? Basic setup is we need to install the OpenCV latest version and TensorFlow Lite on Raspbian OS Bullseye 64-bit version. Okay, so I have already installed the OpenCV and TensorFlow Lite on Raspbian OS Bullseye. Okay, if I open the terminal and if I run the ls command, as you can see, uh, TensorFlow Lite Bullseye. This is what the folder I have already created the video how to install OpenCV and the TensorFlow Lite on Raspbian OS Bullseye. Okay. I will mention the link uh, you need to simply watch the video and just install the latest version of OpenCV and the TensorFlow Lite. Okay, as you can see, I have already installed the TensorFlow Lite on Raspberry OS Bullseye. So now first we are going to test our TensorFlow Lite. Okay, so simply I am going to open programming Tony Python IDE. Then we need to go inside the file, click on open then go to the pi and here it is uh, tensorflow light bullseye examples folder light then examples then we need to go here inside the object detection raspberry pi and we need to run the detect.py okay and here it is whatever detect.py we need to simply click on run and then it will track uh, the object with the help of tensorflow light on raspberry OS bullseye okay and as you can see it's uh, it started the camera okay and uh, the person as you can see the person is detected okay so it means we have successfully installed the tensorflow light okay so as i told you first we need to install the open cv and tensorflow light on raspberry os bullseye so i have already done with a basic setup now we need to install the tensorflow main version and cvlib for that i have created here a repository and the repository name is uh, gender recognition okay gender recognition we need to simply clone the repository i will mention the link of the repository you need to simply open the repository link inside the browser then go to the code copy the link and we are going to clone the repository let me clear the terminal and sudo git clone and paste the link just hit enter it will clone the gender recognition folder or we can say the repository okay now we have our repository now first we need to change the owner so sudo ch own space hyphen capital r pi is the user colon pi is the group and the directory name or we can say the repository name is gender recognition okay so we have successfully changed the owner now run the cd command and the folder name gender recognition ls and as you can see inside that we have two bash file one text file and two python script and one image okay so first we need to move our text file on our desktop because inside that text file we have the google drive link for downloading the tensorflow main package okay so we need to move the text file on the desktop so command is what sudo space mv space the file name which is the pack space where we want to move we want to move on slash home slash pi and capital D desktop hit enter okay as you can see we successfully move the text file on the desktop right click text editor and this is what the link copy the link and then we are going to open the browser new tab and paste link and just hit enter then we need to click on download click on download anyway and as you can see it's downloading our tensorflow package okay the main package so it will take some time meanwhile i will pause the video okay so friends as you can see we have successfully downloaded our package now i'm going to minimize the browser and open the terminal and we need to open the new tab so file new tab and run the cd command 
clear the screen and again we need to go inside the downloads folder cd downloads ls and here it is what our package so we need to simply move the package inside our gender recognition folder okay so sudo space mv space te n and press the tab button it will complete the package name automatic okay then where we want to move we want to move space we want to move slash home slash pi and the gender recognition folder okay so so let me make like this way okay so this is what the command sudo space mv space the package name space slash home slash pi and our folder name which is the gender recognition hit enter so we have successfully move our package inside our gender recognition folder as you can see we have now our package okay now we need to give the full permission for our bash script so sudo ch mode 775 then install install dot sh and install 2 dot sh that's it now if i run the ls command as you can see the color is changed means we are successfully give the full permission so now we are going to uh, we need to run the bash script so sudo dot slash install dot sh and hit enter it will install all the dependencies for cvlib and the tensorflow okay i have already run the install dot sh okay that's why it says that you have already installed all the packages okay but remember one thing of course when you install the first time or when you run the install dot sh first time it will take a more time okay for installing or for running the bash script okay now we need to run our second script which is sudo dot slash install 2 dot sh and just hit enter okay so install 2 dot sh also i have already run as you can see the requirement is already satisfied okay it says the requirement is already satisfied okay so when you install the first time uh, install 2 dot sh it will take a little bit more time because it will uh, it will build the wills for all the packages okay so friends as you can see we have successfully run our two batch scripts okay now simply we are going to open our test2.py and test.py inside our python tony id just minimize the terminal programming tony python id okay and then we are going to open our two files so go to the file click on open go to the pi and gender recognition folder and test.py for recognizing the gender with the help of image then the file click on open then test2.py recognizing the gender with the help of live webcam frame okay so first we are going to see test.py so of course import cv2 for open cv import cvlib as a cv then import numpy as np then img is just a variable img is equal to we need to read our image so cv2 dot im read and this is what our image test 3 dot jpeg okay then we are going to resize our image okay so cv2 dot resize img 640 is the width and 480 is the height okay then faces and the confidences is equal to we are going to use our cv cv dot detect underscore face this is the method for recognizing the face from image okay so cv dot detect underscore face and we need to pass our img variable because the img is our final image which we resize okay then we have now our faces and the confidences now we can use the for loop so for face cons in zip faces and the confidences okay now for our purpose i am going to show you what we have inside the face okay let me comment all these things okay then we will get the better idea comment comment we don't want print label also also we don't want here c2 dot put text okay so save the code now what will happen we have a face okay basically we have the points inside the face okay so let's just start our code and as you can see here this is what our image okay we have here one two three four five six six faces okay 
and here also you can see we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 points and we have here 0, 1, 2 and 3, 3 index. So, x and y because we want to draw the rectangle on their faces. So, we need here x y and x 1 and y 1. So, x and y is basically the face, the face index value 0 is basically our x. So, x is face 0, the index 0 means 3 2 2 2. Then the y is basically face 1 means the index 1 2 1 4. The x 1 is face 2 means the index 2 3 7 5 this one 375 and uh, y1 is phase 3 means the index 3 the 285 ok. So, this is what our points for drawing the rectangle on each face. I hope you all clear. Now, simply what we are going to do we are going to uncomment our cv2 dot rectangle and now we do not want the points. So, I am going to comment print face save the code if I run the code and as you can see we have successfully draw the rectangle on their faces ok. We have successfully draw the rectangle on their faces ok. Now, simple we want to move forward. Now, we need to crop only their faces. So, we are going to use crop as a variable we, uh, we want to crop the image. So, img and we want to crop our y and y1 x and x1. So, y colon y1 x colon x1 ok. So, if we show our crop image save the code, run the code. As you can see, now we have only their face, ok. So, we have successfully crop only their face. Now, we are going to use our crop image for detecting the gender. So, label and confidence is equal to cv dot detect underscore gender method and we need to pass our crop image, that is it. Then, we are going to use uh, np dot argmax method. So, idx is just a variable idx is equal to np dot argmax. Then we need to pass our confidence. Then we are going to use a label. So, label is equal to label and we need to pass our idx. Then we need to simply print the label. Label means uh, whether it is male or female. It will print the male or female. Okay. So, simple. Now, then we need to put the text, we are going to put the text, we are going to put the label on our frame. So, cv2 dot put text method img, uh, we want to put the label on our image. So, img variable, then stream label, then x and y, the x and y coordinate, then the font, font harsher plane, then the scale for the text, then the color, I have mentioned here a green color, then the thickness too. Then cv2 dot im show of course, we need to change crop with our original image and then cv2 wait key 0 for holding the image on our screen ok. Simple save the code if I run the code and as you can see it is printed the label male female male female and here also as you can see female male female male female male ok with the rectangle on their faces. So, this is how you can uh, detect the gender with the help of CVLib and TensorFlow. Now, same thing uh, inside the test2.py, I have only uh, mentioned the CV2.video capture and the camera index. I have connected here USB camera with the Raspberry Pi 4, then while true, and then all the things are same. Okay? So, if I run the code, and as you can see, it is a live frame. Okay? Here it is as you can see the rectangle on my face and it is printed out here a male ok as you can see here. So friends this is how this is how you can detect the gender with the help of CVLeap and TensorFlow ok. I hope you would learn something from this video we will meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye.